the end of week three of eight weeks of Roadworks right outside our house. I hope you can hear me. One of the things I love about being a videographer, photographer, just part of any kind of creative process is the access to locations that you would not normally be allowed into. I've been on rooftops of hotels. I've been in a tunnel 50 feet under the River Lagan. On the mornings of weddings, I've been in some of the nicest houses of Northern Ireland. I love Pervin and other people's houses. I've been backstage at some pretty big gigs of some pretty big bands because I was filming music videos for the support acts. I've been behind busy bars. I've been in a luxury millionaire's private home swimming pool, although he doesn't actually know I was there. That doesn't sound as bad as you think. Other people that I was with were allowed to be there, and I was there taking photos, which he doesn't know about. And just recently, because of this whole 100 guy thing, I've been in a couple of different countries, a bunch of different cities. I got flown to Boston by two wonderful friends. I looked out the window of the 50th floor of the Prudential Tower in Boston and just thought, what am I doing here? This is all because I publicly said I want to go to different cities around the world as a videographer and some people said yeah, there you go have that. I think the only rush bigger than doing all this stuff is doing all this kind of stuff when you're not meant to be doing it and I don't mean going into people's homes or private swimming pools or anything like that. Today I'm going to go into Belfast and I'm going to sneak into as many of the tall hotels as I can and see what shots I can get out of windows off of rooftops if possible, out of balconies. Try and get some shots that you wouldn't really normally see. I'm not gonna do anything malicious, I'm not gonna break or steal anything, I'm not gonna put anybody out. Just simply seeing where I can sneak into just to get a couple of shots. They might not even be great shots, they might not blow me away or anything, but it's more the process of getting them that I'm more interested in seeing how that goes. Long story short, I shot a video on the roof of the Flint Hotel in Belfast, which we had permission for. And I've used that link to get permission to get onto the roof of the Flint again today, which is where I'm going to start today off. The first of what should be many elevators today. Um. It's going to sound really random. I've been in contact with about getting up onto the roof to take some photos and stuff like that. Did he relay that to you guys at all? No. Okay. I have the text conversation. You can yeah. check that it's his number if yeah. you want to. By all means. I'm aware of how random this. <laughs> There's the conversation there. If you want to double check, that's his number. <clears throat> okay, that's brilliant. Thank you so much. Sorry if I how random this must be. Like. Wow. Just like that, here we are. Super, super nice people work here, seriously. None of those guys on the desk knew that I was actually coming. That door just opened and it freaked me out, seriously. Simply showed them the text conversation that I had with the, the owner, the manager, and uh, yeah, here I am. They had the phone to say, is it okay for this guy to be up here unsupervised? And he just said, yeah, let him work away. I just got a text from the guy who I arranged this with and he was super apologetic. Not that he owes me anything, but he was super apologetic that he actually totally forgot to let anybody know. Okay, so this wasn't exactly a challenge, I had permission. Still pretty freaking cool though. Now I'm gonna go up there. Just up there. The Grand Central, as it turns out, it just has a rooftop bar, which is a bit boring. I want, I want a bit more of a challenge than that, but I'll go and see what it's like anyway. I really need a pee. Dear guest, activate lift. The guest doors, please read. Oh, we need a key. Oh, right, there you go. Hey, nobody told us that then. Security reasons, I guess. 
good idea. Yeah, don't want anybody who isn't actually staying in the yeah. hotel getting up. Yeah. Yeah. That's good idea. Can't be bothered getting that out of my bag. I'll just. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming there's. Oh no, I was just going to get the stairs, but thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. There, there you go. go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Right, this is very nice. Where are we going? Go this way. Wait, the stairs. needed a key card to get from floors 3 up to 22 but just my luck there was a couple already in the elevator they even re-punched their card so that I could get up one more flight <laughs> unbelievable definitely not getting in there as we check in desk and everything what's this Properly posh in here. Properly posh. Uh -huh. Let's see what this staircase is like. I wonder if this brings me into the, the back end of that restaurant that I was saying I probably wouldn't get into. It does. basically acted like I was meant to be there while bolting away at the same time. Don't know how that looked. There's girls calling me vlogging. I hate that. I hate that so much. It's so embarrassing. Okay, that was slightly stressful and a wee bit embarrassing at the same time, but job done. This one's massive, is that all the Maldron Hotel? Oh no, you need a key card. Stairs it is. Total fail. Okay, well good for them, they've got good security. You needed a key card not only to get even remotely into the elevator, but you couldn't even get through a door to get into the staircase. So if you stay there, you'll be safe. I haven't been up there in years and years and years. I've shot two weddings in there easily five years ago was the last one. And I really do think it was just a simple case of getting in the elevator and going. I don't remember having an issue with a key card or anything or needing staff to get us up there.
that house. Hopefully there's a window at the end of the corridor or something I can shoot out of. Oh, that was my very expensive camera banging off of that. Suffice as my shot. I can't get back in. What are the chances of that switch? Oh, God, I don't want to. Balls right nine floors. Here we go. Staircases. I may as well take this time to tell you that this next one that I'm aiming for has a really cool like exterior elevator, like a glass elevator on the outside of the building. Quite excited for going up and down that, assuming that I can. That's the restaurant. Where are we going? Witherspoons. Witherspoons over in UK mainland, they're actually fairly decent. I was really surprised with the one in Edinburgh when I did 100 shots of Edinburgh, but the one in Belfast is rank. It's legitimately looking like a fight here. No, I think it's out. So that glass, that glass there is the elevator going up the outside of the building. And the majority of Belfast is over that direction, so the view should be pretty sweet if I can get into it. I see a puddle. Who put this tree here, seriously? Oh, that's close. That's really close. Oh, and that's a bus. That's a bus. By the way, sorry if the footage is a bit crap in this video. I'm not exactly... It's not exactly my top priority. I don't exactly have time to be going through all my camera settings and walk one through all these hotels and stuff. But I was just laughing at myself there, thinking if those guys outside Witherspoons did fight and I got it on video, and like I had to hand it over to the police or something for evidence. Imagine them watching back all the footage of me sneaking into... Uh, oh damn, it's offices! Cack. It's offices and... Yeah, manned. Manned uh, reception. Balls! People think I'm just talking to myself here. Is that a nice wee shot there? I want to be in that elevator so that I can do a Captain America on whoever's in there with me. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Clayton Hotel, that's what it's called. Never set foot in here. No, I have set foot in here. It wasn't the Clayton Hotel though. I came in here to use the bathroom one time before some kind of, some gig. I think it was like Megadeth gig or something. Years ago. Rachel just ordered takeaway for flip's sake. Shot out this window and thought, right, well, this is a bit of a dud. Then I glanced through this little sliver of glass. Oh, yeah. That was good, that was the best one yet. Really happy with that. E tap next. E tap? I don't know how you pronounce it. E tap. It got a little bit the Maldron. But at the same time, happy that they have good security because hotels really should have better security. Against even photographers and videographers. ETAP Hotel. Let's rumble. Ah, balls. 
This is a pretty budget hotel as well. I was not expecting that. Let me just check. Oh. This is the type of establishment that would appreciate me walking in with a bag of McDonald's. Scratch that, two bags of McDonald's. I've been really impressed, other than the E-Tap, which doesn't claim to be fancy, they've all been really nice. The tap was perfectly nice, I mean, for what it was. Oh, I don't have a lot of hope for this. I want to go far door. Yeah, it's a bit of a lap down. Alright, I'll go around to the other end. Great. I don't consider myself to be beaten, just, I just don't have anything here. Here, but there's just nothing to get. No windows, and if there are, we're just looking out at crappy alleyways. I think this is the best I'm gonna get. good fun. I can honestly say I really quite enjoyed that. I'm gutted about the Maldron. But like I said a couple of times throughout the video, it's probably best that complete randomers can't just make their way up into the top floors of a hotel who aren't actually staying there. So Maldron, good on you for good security, but uh, I'm really annoyed. Chances are if I tried it later on in the day when my confidence was a bit higher and I was on a bit more of a roll, probably could have got something. I don't know. Let's get looking at these photos. Now they're not amazing. There's this weird thing that I find you can be standing on the roof of a hotel or looking out a window on the 12th floor or whatever and with your eyes you think that looks class but then you take a photo of it and it's just like meh, it's just fine. So the photos are actually kind of all over the place in regards to how much I actually like them. Super posy, aren't I so cool because I'm on a roof photo? Quite like it. I kind of like that one on the ambulance. It looks like I ridiculously boosted the, the saturation around the, the ambulance, but I honestly didn't. That's actually just the way an ambulance looks. I quite like the sort of layers. You got the road, then the yellow line, then the pavement. You got the bike, you got a bin, you got a person, and then you've got the green ledge, which I was hanging over. Kind of like it. Yep, quite like that one. I like the blue bus just going along the bottom of it. It's okay. Quite like the composition of this photo, the way they're going diagonally down it, love the yellow lines and all. Again, it looks like I super boosted the yellows. I really didn't, that's just the way it looks. I don't really know what to say about most of these photos. I'm actually half tempted just to let them roll because I don't have much to say. That one's pretty good. The staircase in the flint is really cool. It's a really cool hotel, it's finished nicely. Like there's, there's nice tile in, there's nice bits of joinery and woodwork and steelwork and all everywhere you look. It's it's a really it's a really cool hotel, I do like it. Just uh, do, doing some stretches down an alleyway, why not? Onto the Grand Central, I got into some restaurant at the top they, they were very clearly like waiting for you as you come in you know as in to check your reservation or to check how many your party is for or whatever I literally just walked right per, right past the girl at the door and just walked straight over to the window like I had a proper reason to be there had a purpose to be there and just shot that photo it's pretty basic um, I'm really annoyed you can actually see a reflection in the window because I don't have a polarizing filter but yeah whatever Fine, it's decent. After the Grand Central was the Maldron. Ugh. After the Maldron was the Europa. And at first I thought that this was gonna be the best photo that I could get out the window, which to be fair, I actually kind of liked. Then managed to get up right up to the top floor where there was some kind of function happening. No idea what it actually was. I didn't really spend much time looking around. 
because it was very clearly happening very soon. So I thought, right, gotta get my shots quick. I like that shot there, looking down the street just for the sheer sheer length of it and the fact that all the car lights are on is pretty good and then later on at night i got that pretty cool photo of europa which i have seen before on other instagrams it's not like i found that spot and aren't i so cool seen it before that's just my version of it the fitzwilliam was a bust from my exploration there were no windows at the ends of corridors or anything like that so i think all i got in the fitzwilliam was that staircase and that staircase pretty boring stuff so then I was on to the Clayton, which I didn't get in that glass elevator for, because it turns out it's not actually part of the Clayton Hotel. But first I just got this photo across the road of the BBC building, which I was actually relatively happy enough. It's, it's kind of cool, I like all the layers of buildings. Then I just so happened to notice, as I said there, you know, just as you glance through the little bit of glass of the fire escape door, the fire escape has this amazing view, which is the view that I would have got out of that glass elevator. But I wanted to get a video of like me going up, you know, got some nice nighttime stuff, you know, all the all the lights lit up and I like I like the purple line of the bus there at the top of the screen. That's pretty cool. Walking around the city, nice wee shot of a bus, nice wee shot of a dude walking in front of some lights, nice wee shot of a drain. After the Clayton, it was onto the E-Tap. Very basic, very boring shot, but you know. I got a shot and that was the goal of the day. And then last but not least, we had the Merchant. This was probably the worst one that I did get into. Um, again, just no windows at the ends of corridors or anything like that. It's not even a high, it's not even, I mean, there's only about three or four floors anyway in it. And it's surrounded by buildings. So I didn't know what kind of view I was expecting to get. This is the best photo that I got. Garbage, but eh. Well, as I said, that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't recommend that you do it because it could end badly, but if you know someone who owns a hotel, by all means ask them to get on the roof because apparently it's as easy as that. In two days I'm going to be starting the Harley and the Wolf music video shoot. I'm shooting their gig in the Oh Yeah Centre in Belfast on Saturday night. Then there's another gig supporting 100th, which is awesome, the week after that and all of that combined will be their new music video, so look out for that coming soon. There's also going to be a couple of little extra videos coming next week which are a little bit different, look out for those. In the meantime, please all that, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, especially subscribe please. Thanks for watching.